Hello, I am Monica Marjorie Miller, and today we are talking about the power of empathy and deep listening. When we typically go into conversations, we may not be coming from a place of, hmm, let me really hear what this person is saying. Let me really make sure I've gotten where they're coming from. I'm getting into that power of empathy. A lot of times we come to conversations and we hear what someone says, but we are already immediately forming our response, like something like, well, you see the world that way, I see the world this way, or, oh yeah, I hear that, that that's what you think, well, I have a different opinion. Or you might offer response in the form of advice, like, oh, well, you know, I can tell you that the way to do, the way to get rid of fungus on your feet is to blah, 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 blah. And maybe what that person needs to hear is simply like, wow, yeah, you're letting me know that that, that fungus on your feet really hurts. I can, I can empathize with that. Wow. Yeah. And you're simply reflecting, you're simply being with the person as they are. And that can go across all of your relationships, whether you're at work or whether you're with a little one who stubbed their toe or whether you're with another family member or a friend. And when you are deeply listening, when you are deeply empathizing with someone, the trick is to pause after they speak. And in that pause, really take in what they've said. And as you've taken it in, in that pause, then you have the opportunity to reflect back, perhaps in their own words or as close to their words as you can get, what you have heard so that they can feel deeply listened to. I'll tell you a story about how I got into focusing and deeply listening. It was because I heard from my daughter after she had gone on a huge adventure in Hawaii to this wonderful island with this wonderful place uh, in the islands. There was such a gorgeous nature preserve and she was having an, an ecstatic time and had all these experiences. And when she came back, she said, Mommy, I want you to just listen. Just listen when I talk. Don't have any opinions. Don't tell me what you think. Don't try to fix me. Just listen and reflect back what I've said so that I know that you've heard me. And when I heard that, I thought, oh, I don't know if I can do that. And I paused for a second and I realized, this sounds remarkably like what my partner is asking for. And my partner is a focusing oriented therapist. So focusing, going inside, really being with how you feel is a wonderful form of self-reflection that can be used also in interactive communication. So what my, when my daughter asked me, mommy, don't offer me opinions, please just reflect back what I've said so I can feel really heard. That was when I really heard her. Yes, I need to do this. I need to learn focusing.